Some things just need done. Uh, don't let my high school English teacher hear me say that. But some things just need done, guys. And I got some mowing to do. I have to brush hog my back 40. Log hauler Jesse is going to be bringing some mats and we're going to be laying those down. We're building up that road. We're going to be making a work area. So, you know, in order to do that, I needed to take the ballast box off, but I had a couple logs left to put on the live deck. So I just got that done. I fueled up and now I got the brush hog on and we're going to get ready to brush hog. If you have never been experienced with a brush hog, let me tell you something, guys. These are <laughs> these are the meanest machines in the world. They are big, strong, and man, they will mow down anything. When we first bought this property, this uh, brush hog, I think, is from the 70s. This is heavy duty. And we have these gigantic blades that are underneath it. Well, when I was out mowing, I heard the worst noise I've ever heard in my life, a big banging and clanking. And I had driven over top of a car rim. And serious guys, it made mincemeat out of that car rim. These things are, uh, these things will just destroy anything they can drive over top of. You have heard me before too. I do not like mowing grass. I just don't like doing it. Yeah, running the tractor and the brush hog is kind of different. It's kind of cool. But I always go back to a friend of mine. He's retired now. He was a longtime excavator and he had one of these big caterpillar excavators. And I told him, I said, gosh, that thing would just be a blast to run just every day, man. And he says, well, he says it's exciting for about the first 10 minutes. And then after that, it's pretty boring. <laughs> so uh, that's the way I think it is with, with tractors and especially mowing and brush hogging. Uh, on top of everything else, you know, this thing's always spitting stuff out at you. You have to deal with hornets that are in the ground. So there are some hazards, but I can think of uh, worse things that I could be doing. Let me do some mowing, guys, and we'll wait here for log hauler Jesse to show up. And it's pretty cool watching him unload those mats, all right? But we got to get the grass mowed first. Here we go.
so what does a firewood company have to do with mowing grass? The description of our channel is a day in the life of a firewood delivery service and mowing grass is part of it, you know. I have a project, long-term project, we're getting this back 40 built and this whole summer just interfered with everything with all of the rain and the the change in our timber industry out here, the way that the loggers are getting pulled in different directions. It's tough getting Jesse to come out here to help build this road a little bit farther out, but it looks like it's gonna happen today. So we uh, got our yard mowed, and now we can sit around and wait for Jesse to come. What do we have here, guys? Jesse the log hauler is here. How you doing, Jesse? And here are the mats. Guys, we are full speed ahead building this road. I'll turn this around. We are building the road. Hope we don't get stuck. It gets a little soft around here. Despite the dry weather, you know, look how soft it still is. He really sunk in. We are building more road, so let's uh, head on back here and let's see what Jesse's gonna do. I know a lot of you guys and gals are new to the channel and you may not be aware of this project. What you're looking at in here, I call it the moat, and it gets really low and uh, soft in here. And that has always prevented me from getting these big trucks back into what I call the back 40. The soft spot always prevented me from getting trucks back in here because this is where I want my production to be. The production is away from the house, it's away from the neighbors and you're know, battling with these ants. I just get everything out here. It's a big spacious area where the trucks can get out here, get turned around and come back out. But I can't get there from here because of how soft it is. The solution are these timbers that you're seeing, these mats. And I had looked into a gravel driveway, but good heavens, especially now, it's just too expensive. There's no way I could afford that. Log hauler Jesse uh, came across these mats. They are from up by Lake Erie. They are uh, roughly four foot wide, like here, from here to there is one mat. They're eight inches tall, they're oaken timbers, and they have one inch bolts uh, holding them all together. And these were constructed by uh, these big outfits that are uh, putting in the power lines up by Lake Erie. Well, when these get um, used up, they give them away. And up by Lake Erie is a pile of thousands of them, free for the takings. Uh, some people cut them up for firewood, and uh, like log hauler Jesse, he brings them down here because he uses them at his place. And this is a solution for mine. And we think we have enough now, guys, that not only would we have the road, but we can also build a work pad back in here where I can set my machines on top of it and just stay out of the soft ground because you know how things get i mean it's nice and firm right now but you know it gets bad after a while so this is what we got going on and i have developed a very good relationship with log hauler jesse and this is part of our our plan is this will allow him to bring me smaller loads and uh, I can pay him after I process it into a cord, so I can pay him that way. Uh, you know, he it's hard for, when he has a full load, he knows how much wood he's bringing me, but if he is just picking up a few logs on his way home, because he lives right down the road from me, he just lives right down the road from me, so if he can just bring me a few logs, I'm good, because I need them. 
and I need to process these things, and I can still get them paid, right? And the benefit, though, is uh, this road is going to allow us to come in in all kinds of weather. Uh, you know, springtime and late fall, this I get shut down. I can't I can't get any logs to come in just because you know my ground's too soft. So everything that we have done is to help us. Uh, improve in getting uh, logs, procurement. That is my biggest opportunity with this whole operation, is getting my logs in. So he's brought the outriggers up, he's coming down from his perch, and then he is going to pull forward. And then he does it all over again. So now here guys, this is probably going to be... Um, not the end of our row, but we're going to start opening it up here now and widening, widening everything and uh, this can be our production area. with log hauler Jesse and he just brought these mats again Jesse tell everyone where these mats are coming from what's the deal with these things uh, they put a gas line 27 miles gas line so they had thousands and thousands of these wow and uh, I get them I've been using them for uh, excavating companies and different places like that so and now uh, log yards uh -huh. <laughs> And I still see everyone loves your, your super liner, your Mac here, but that's because they don't drive it, right? right. Oh, okay. Yeah. And uh, do you still have a new truck yeah. on the horizon? Yeah, every time I make a plan to get it started, this breaks down. <laughs> so then I gotta work on it. So within the next couple weeks, I gotta start on it. I already got the tank off and I gotta uh, paint the frame. But either way, I right. just gotta do it before the fall hits when right. it's cold because nothing works well in the cold. So guys, Jesse hauls logs. You are not a logger, right? No. And I spoke with a logger today, and he said you can't find log haulers. He says they are all maxed out, and they're busy, and uh, you, there's just the limited supply. Yeah. Is my, that is that the way you see it? Fifth day this week. That's my twentieth load on the ground. So <sighs> but this one. No kidding. Yeah. Man, you must your elbow must be sore from counting all that money. You know. I have yet to do that. These things are pretty inexpensive to run, I understand. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They drive, they drive <laughs> on hopes and dreams. <laughs> All right, so if you're uh, if you're digging log hauler Jesse, I know that he's got a, a nice following out there, and he was down at the Paul Bunyan. Yeah, so he was walking around. You guys might have run into him. <laughs> uh, he was scoping out those three, uh, that yellow, red, and green uh, truck. Yeah. Yeah, those ones are already gone. He's going to buy They're all... Probably are out making their paint. You'll have one for each day of the week now. Yeah. All right. Nice. Yeah, so let's all give uh, Log Hauler Jesse a thumbs up. If you got any specific questions for him, put them in the comments, and I'll get them here next time he stops by. All right, guys. Everyone have... Great. Great Friday. Oh, uh, yeah, it's Friday, guys. <laughs>